you might have heard the term push rod engine. The obvious deduction from the name is that this type of engine utilizes push rods. But what exactly do they do? Push rods are one of the oldest design features of the internal combustion engine. The camshaft in an engine is what controls the opening and closing of the valves in the cylinder head. Lobes on the camshaft transfer motion into a cam follower. But since camshafts were initially located low in the engine block close to the crankshaft and the valves were at the top of the engine, something needed to transfer the motion from the cam follower into the valve. This job was accomplished by the push rods. Essentially, nothing more than a rod or tube. The job of a push rod is simple on paper. However, there have been many different designs and the aspects of a push rod can have a big effect on engine performance. Some early push rods were solid. Some are adjustable, some a fixed length. The majority of modern push rods are hollow, both for weight savings and to allow oil to travel to the valve train at the top of the engine. But that's where the simplicity ends. Push rods for stock engines don't see high RPMs or heavy valve spring loads. However, high performance engines require push rods that can handle high spring loads and high RPM. The type of metal, the thickness, and the diameter of the push rod all play a part in their durability. Some push rods feature ends that are welded on, and some are machined in one piece for greater strength. The overhead cam engine design eliminated the need for push rods opening up many easier opportunities for performance with the elimination of any problems associated with push rods. But they're not going away anytime soon. Many engines still feature them and they are a popular upgrade when rebuilding an older engine. Thanks for watching.